Mm. Do Asian Americans want to move out of California as bad as everyone else does? This new poll is shocking. Yeah, this is going viral right now. Obviously, I think this is a uh, nationwide poll. However, it's relevant to the Asian American community, Andrew, because I believe California has the most Asian Americans out of any state in the entire country. Oh, absolutely, David. By a long shot, California has almost 6 million Asians. Okay, the next closest state is New York, which almost has 2 million Asians. Hawaii has the highest percentage on a percentage ratio, though. Of course, Hawaii is definitely very highly Asian percentage-wise. But as far as the numbers, guys, California is essentially culturally, I would say, becoming a Latino and Asian state. But anyways, guys, a lot of people want to move out. But who are these people? Where do they want to move out to? And what's the percentage? And do we think Asians agree with these? Like, are, are do Asians want to move out as bad? Do as they want to move out for the same reasons? Uh, because I think some Asians do want to move out, too. Yeah. It's not like all Asians want to stay and it's all white people want to go to... Texas, you know, I mean, there's some truth to that. But anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, Andrew. This one has a lot of layers to it. Um, what does the general study say? The, the, this right. is the article that went viral on various platforms. All right, guys, 61% said of Californians polled said the reason for wanting to leave is due to the cost of living. Of those people who said that they want to leave and that cost of living is the reason, 71% of those people were black or Asian. 46% of respondents said they are struggling to save money or pay for unexpected costs. So generally, cost of living is very high in California right now. 30% of respondents said it was because of political policies. Right, right, right. So this is different, Andrew. The Asians were not as, uh, the reasons for wanting to be out were not as political. Right. I, I don't think it's political as number one for Asians. 83% uh, of Californians who identify as Republicans said they were displeased with the policies, who obviously they're, California's ran by Democrats. And most people are going to Texas, the Northwest, such as Seattle, Portland, Chicago, Atlanta, Arizona. So I guess, David... Uh, does this surprise you? Obviously, people have been talking about leaving California for almost, I would say, five, six years now. Yeah, and let's be honest, man. If you're thinking about moving to Seattle or Portland, it, I might say that it might be more of a sociocultural thing than a cost of living or a political thing because Portland and Seattle are both super liberal as well. However, their population of white people, I'm not going to lie, is way higher than California mm. on a distribution race basis. Right. And also, if you want to move to the city of Seattle and not the Seattle area, the cost of living is actually still pretty high. Um, also, Andrew, a lot of people from California are moving to Texas in general. Like we said, Dallas was number one. Hey, Andrew, notice they're not moving to Houston. I don't know why they ain't down with H-Town. Uh, the, like you said, the Northwest, Chicago, Atlanta, and Arizona. Uh, David, do we think, like, how bad do... I think Asians don't leave California as much. I'm I think not, they want to stay. I think Asians want to stay. However, like you said, there is a cost of living equation that is a re harsh reality on some families, right? But think about it this way, guys. Asia, like where, as far as community and like, not just cost of living, but quality of living, part of quality of living is feeling like you have a community, feeling like you have the restaurants around you that you enjoy. Or you can even have like, just go to the store and have somebody smile you at you legitimately versus being like, oh yeah, this guy's coming in. Yeah, so I'm saying there's so many Asians in California. Why It's very hard for Asians to leave. I'm not saying Asians are not leaving. I'm just saying I could see a higher percentage of Asians wanting to stay due to the fact that it's very, very Asian friendly. Yeah, I think that when they do move, Andrew, uh, if Asians do leave California, they're also leaving for places like Tempe, Arizona, where mm -hmm. there is essentially like almost a new 626 or a new Asian, uh, you know, uh, something equivalent to like Cerritos or, or Irvine popping up in Arizona, obviously, albeit on a smaller scale. Right. Uh, all right, guys, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, uh, but how many people are moving in from other states? I wonder if that offsets the numbers that are leaving. No, I, I do think people are moving to California as much as people say everyone's leaving, but I don't think it's beating the number of people that are leaving from what I remember. But also... Let's be honest, if we were to get into micro statistics, Andrew, and this is like for you guys that ever majored in statistics or took a statistics course, like those people could be higher income moving in. And like, let's just say median average income people got to move out. Right, right, right. You're saying that more like middle level income people moving out 
but the people moving in can really afford it and want to move to California. Or, or they can pay two, three million for a house that where you're like, I can't believe it costs that much, right? Exactly. Like some people got it like that. I mean, it really depends, right? Somebody said it's bad everywhere, not just California. People are moving all over. Yeah, it's the same headline here in Chicago, New York, insert whatever city across the globe that's like a big name. Yeah, every, dude, well, in a way, David, honestly, no city is getting cheaper. Like just any city in America is not getting cheaper. Right. Except for maybe like the towns that are actually going into the dumps, you know, like a, where people are deserting <laughs> you mean, it. You mean like the towns that like, uh, are, it's pretty obvious why you would want No, I'm out. saying like Detroit in the 90s. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure like, yeah. yeah do they, you feel like there's something going on almost like the Dust Bowl? You know, where everybody can work from home. I honestly think that work from home is an aspect that was not addressed in this article. Where it's like, if you don't need to live in, uh, go into the office every day, because obviously the internet and the Zoom tools are so strong nowadays. Why wouldn't you just live wherever you want? Right, yeah, exactly. Somebody said, please stop coming to AZ. Our rent went up 300% and we can barely afford it. Please do not leave, guys. You guys just leave Cali and destroy everywhere you move. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you guys, next are, shark. you guys just destroy everywhere that you go. That is hilarious. What do you think of that? Because some people don't like it. Uh, some people say that California is such this like liberal multi-ethnic oasis that when they go to new places that aren't necessarily fully like that, they try to imprint that on the new place they go to. But are they successful? So then it's on like, you know what I mean? Like I know that Texas always had this thing like, ah, oh, keep the prunings in California. Don't make Austin, California. Don't make yeah. Dallas, uh, California. But I'm like, but if they make it California and their culture wins, I guess... Does that mean it's better or that it's more appealing? Yeah. I do notice that California people are very, uh, I don't, I don't want to say entitled to their dominance though, because, you know, being from Seattle, I'm kind of used to just shifting however, wherever we go, right? But I notice California people, if they come to New York, Andrew, they cannot accept that you get no continuation on and one. Like, you know what I mean? Or like fouls and stuff, you know, like when we play basketball, they cannot accept it. Right. Because I'm saying they're from a place that has been so one way. So, but I'm saying, does that mean the California culture is so strong that it no, often it is takes strong. over? Yeah, because oh, okay. it's, it's, what I'm saying is because the California vibe, and it's a great vibe, but I'm just saying if you're moving somewhere else, they might not want that vibe. I don't know, man. California's winning, I guess, man. It's just capitalism, dude. That's my argument. Somebody for it. says Cali is just the best. It's the only state that has beaches, deserts, mountains, and forests. And guess what? In this life, you have to pay for the best, baby. Uh, Good riddance if you can't pay for it. Yeah. I see some comments saying, hey, guys, just work harder. Make the money and afford to live in California because it's great. Somebody said, all people say move out of California or don't move here to my city. Blame the influencers in your city always showing every little cool thing and every little park and every new restaurant on TikTok. Blame them because now everybody is seeing the great things from every city. Oh, man. We covered a lot of restaurants in New York City. We cover a lot of restaurants everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Somebody said, once Section 8 EBT and other social systems collapse in California, it's going to get even worse. Oh. Yeah, this is a whole other thing. And we're moving on to more political statements. Somebody said, uh, oh, yeah, wait, just another new people are leaving California article just dropped. Good riddance. Somebody said, yeah, think about it. When you guys move to a red state, they're going to police your body, not even let you get abortions, guys. And somebody, uh, so that's an anti-red state thing. And then another Asian person that is off next shark somebody said yeah democratic leadership is why california is collapsing so this turns the whole are you moving to texas or are you staying in california thing into a political debate mm. why is it so political it's almost like the vaccine you know how like in some countries the vaccine was not political but in america it became politicized i mean people want to feel like texas is a free state and california is not i guess so it's like oh texas is living america is doing America the right way. That's that's what they believe. Uh, Andrew, is it interesting enough that Zuckerberg chose to stay in California, Elon chose to move Tesla to Texas, and now Zuckerberg and Elon want to fight in an MMA cage match together? Wow. Uh, that's Cali not, versus Texas. That's not going to ever happen, by the way. I don't think so. Somebody said, uh, yeah, yeah, but when you guys leave California in all its temperate, moderate weather that's really nice, Think about it. You're going to go to a place that's either got extreme, extreme hot or extreme, extreme cold. What do you think of this, Andrew? Because some people are like, yeah, I moved to Austin, but uh, I did not predict this. Oh, no, nah, man. Actually, I feel like parts of the East Coast, after having lived here, 
Yeah, the winters do get cold, but I don't know. If you move to, like, North Carolina or Virginia, I feel like the weather's not as bad. Like, I think, obviously, California probably has the best weather, but they also have earthquakes, so I don't know. Um, you know, for me, when, when people say California, there's, like, three places that I really love in California, Andrew. I love the SoCal area. I mean, uh, but, but specifically what, like 626 LA, you know, you go by more by the water. It's cooler. Yeah. If you get into the San Gabriel Valley, it's a little hot. The Bay area is really great, mm -hmm. really pleasant, but a little spread out. Like, you know yes. what I mean? You don't want to make a SF SJ commute all the time. No, that's, that's a super, super far. And then arguably Andrew San Diego might be the most picturesque out of all the places, but in a weird way, not that Asian more beach bro. -y. Yeah. But I can see a lot of Asians do like San Diego. Somebody said, man, Republicans are only happy when they're taking out away someone's rights. And someone said, yeah, conservatives don't let the door hit your bigoted racist butt on the way out. Right. Why, why do you think this Well, a lot is? of people are like, oh, okay, everybody wants to leave California is probably like more of a Republican anyways. Bye. Right. And, and do you think they're making an assumption that these Republicans, let's be honest, Andrew, are more than likely older white Republican folks? Yeah, this is I, I don't know the racial statistics on the people who are leaving California, but I would be interested to see that. Somebody said, uh, man, just make sure you do your research beforehand. I knew so many people who moved out, and then after a year or two, they couldn't stand it. They had to come right back. Dude, what about this one? Someone said, man, I left California in 2018. I've never looked back. Since then, I've lived in Oklahoma and Arkansas and Arizona, and I'm like, all right, man, if you're the type of guy that can actually move to Arkansas and Oklahoma and enjoy your life, then you should probably leave California. California should probably be for people who want to really be there, but if you can enjoy arkansas well you can enjoy probably anywhere yeah of course every state is different right andrew every state is like a different essentially like video game mm. and some people like some video games more than others i remember andrew when seattle started getting super diverse people were moving to montana yeah and idaho yeah david what do you think about this comment someone says guys it's not the liberal policies that are chasing people away it's just the outrageous housing prices and someone says Oh, yeah, but let me tell you this. It's that not in my backyard attitude that is permeating the left and the right divide. You know what I mean? Well, what what like, does that even mean? I'm so, so even... for example, not in my backyard means like you might welcome the idea of a new airport, but you don't want it close to your home because it's going to obstruct your home property and obstruct your way of life. So, right. so it's like you... You want you, things, but not right next to you. So it's like, oh, new stadium or new big skyscrapers. Yeah, but not right next to me or something like that. Yeah, I think so. So people are just like, they're just thinking about that. Well, isn't that the limousine liberal elite? Basically like saying like, I want my state to like welcome this, this and this thing. But like, I'll be living on the hill in like a gated community anyway. Yeah. So at least I get to feel good about what I'm saying in a macro sense about society. I'm a good person, but I won't actually have to deal with any yeah. of it. Or yeah, you want nicer things in your city, but you don't want the increase housing price that comes along with it. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, do you think it's true that there, the housing shortage is just like, just, it, it is because I know Andrew, even uh, some of the cribs in like 626, for example, San Gabriel Valley, they don't even look that amazing depending on what location they're in. They're actually pretty pricey. Yeah, no, the urban sprawl, man. I think also a lot of companies are buying up a lot of houses. I think uh, real estate investors. Black rock. Yeah, but real estate investors, like how, I mean, how much does that play into things where people are buying up like 10 houses just to jack up the price? You know, I understand people want to make a living off real estate, but also people need a place to live. Right, right, right. Like, should you allow companies to buy up a trillion houses, yeah, let them know. buy them all up and then they control the market just like the De Beers family controls the diamond supply. Somebody said it's not just suburban California because so, so many people are leaving California. They're pushing up the prices in even places like Ohio and Indiana, places you never would have thought of. Yeah, they got that California pricing, man. I'm sure Denver saw a jump. I'm sure every city seeing a jump, man. Yeah, I do think it depends, though. Someone was like, uh, yeah, stay out of Oklahoma. And people were like, yeah, don't don't worry. That wasn't too high on my mm. list. Oklahoma wasn't Yo, up there. Yo, there is this one really comment, interesting comment. I think it's from an Asian to another Asian. And he says, uh, in reply to somebody who said, yeah, well, I'm just thinking about leaving the country. And then somebody says, see... You're just a rat fleeing a sinking ship. There's no loyalty with you immigrants or a lot of immigrants like you because you guys don't want to stay when things are getting bad. You no, don't this, is what a white, this is what a white person said to an Asian on Next Shark. 
Oh yeah, the KK forty seven. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I yeah, sounds like obviously would make more sense if they were white. But anyways, they were kind of talking about how Asians just want to leave whenever things get bad. We're yeah, the type of but I mean, that's like anybody who has the optionality. You know what yeah. I mean? Like anybody who's just like more open. I mean, if that guy already immigrated once from Asia to America, if his kids graduate college and he's an empty nester, why does he got to stay? Right. But like that person's clearly just mad because they don't have that optionality in their uh, toolkit. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Three, two, one. Last but not least, Andrew, this last comment said, America in general is just an ish show. No universal health care. College and trade schools are super expensive. Basial, basic social services are inadequately funded or non-existent. Wages have been stagnant and haven't kept up with inflation. Man, move to the Dakotas, Montana, or Alabama. And then, of course, this is a famous Tim Dillon quote. Somebody said, man, we're just turning into a third world country with a Gucci belt. This is almost a more macro comment about America in general. Yeah, I do think... I mean, I don't think America is a third world country yet. I mean, dude, it's pretty far from it. I mean, it's still... Like, have you guys ever been to a third world country? I just think every country is having problems right now. And a lot of people want to sit back and criticize. But how many people are doing the right things to actually help and are really trying to figure out these problems? I don't know. Yeah, I think that there's a, a lot of movement right now. Just because anytime things get a little bit rocky on a really big game map, like people are going to shift from uh, one side of the Fortnite island to the other side of Fortnite island. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like they, they might be trying to search for something because they feel like things are getting rocky where they're at. I guess, David, uh, for you, do you think the Asian population in California is just going to grow continually? I, I actually think so. I, I think that... It really depends on what your goals are. If you want to live in an Asian American community like OC, San Gabriel Valley, where like five, six, seven, eight cities that are like uh, predominantly Asian are clustered together, where else are you going to go? Mm. You know what I mean? Like other cities might have like a part of one city that's like that, but certainly not like eight cities in a row. Right, right. So right. it depends though, but you know, not every Asian person wants to live in that. Or that's they don't need that, right? That's a good point. Yeah. So I think it really depends on what your goals are. I think anybody can have a good life. And anybody can have a bad life anywhere. I, I think a lot of Asians, unless you're trying to start up a particular business, I feel like a lot of them are going to try to stay in California. That's my guess. Yeah. I mean, what do you think about like California Asian life? I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. Yeah. It doesn't get that much better. Now, there may be a point where it's too much for you and your family's like, oh, okay, well, we could do business elsewhere. Or like, oh, there's too many distractions. I don't know if you feel that way, but I don't know. Or what if you take all the delicious treats and all the delicious AZN things you've learned from the Enclave, and you want to bring it to Arizona, or you want to bring it to these newer places that's far away. I think that's what's happening right now, bro. Yeah. I mean, what do you think about that accusation, Andrew, that TikTok is just showing everybody the best of everywhere? So everybody's like, oh, yeah, I might move there. Like, they show me everything. Yeah, I mean, that dude, if you move to Austin, then you find out you don't really like 120-degree weather in the summer. Uh, I don't know. That's on you, man. Yeah, don't go just because you saw Joe Rogan open up like a, a comedy club there. Yeah, Joe Rogan has like a billion dollars. He's living such a different life than you. Yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think the long story short is, man, it varies person to person, family to family, the circumstances, their expectations, their flow. Do they want to run small businesses with their family members or do they want to just get a corporate job or do they work remote from home? It could be pretty variable, but let us know in the comment section below if you're thinking about leaving California or thinking about leaving whatever city X that you're in and what's your reasoning or what's your reasoning for staying. Until next time with the Hot Pot Boys, we out. Peace. Peace.